Hearts are a match for mine. for one man. What were you thinking? Attacking on your own! We must combine our strength to defeat him. <laughs> now we stand a chance. We will hold back Lu Bu. Father, you must open the gates to Hu Lao. The gate won't open. Then we will have to smash it down. Prepare the catapult. Hmm. I have better things to do than chase after fleeing firm. I hate for you to see me like this, but thank you, Father. Yeah. 
think you can escape me? your rampage. Assume a defensive formation. You must protect the main camp. I have better things to do than chase after fleeing firm. Hold back for now. However, we shall meet in battle again. Fear the tiger of Jiang Dong. Out of the coalition members, it was Sun Jian whose accomplishments towered highest. Having been driven off by the coalition, Dong Zhuo fled the capital and sought refuge in Chang'an. The coalition managed to retake Luoyang, which had long served as the center of Han influence. With their spirits high, Sun Jian and the others entered the capital, yet what awaited them was a shock to all present. The once glorious capital lay in ruin. Like a deadly inferno, Dong Zhuo had swept through the city during his escape, burning all that he came across. Look at this. That animal. We never should have let him go. themselves have chosen you. I mean, it has to be. What are the odds of this happening? Father? With the Imperial Seal in hand, Sun Jian left the capital and returned to Changsha. 
Meanwhile, Dong Zhuo was slain by his retainer Lu Bu at Chang'an. The emperor, who he had kept under his thumb, subsequently fell into the hands of his remaining followers. With the emperor in such a predicament, it was impossible to return the imperial seal to him at that time. And yet, those in the court and their own greedy ambitions could not be trusted with such a powerful object either. So Sun Jian decided to quietly hide the seal so that it would not give rise to a new age of chaos. However, an object of such dazzling beauty and power could not remain hidden forever. Yuan Shao of Hebei learned of the seal's location and demanded that he hand it over. In response to Yuan Shao's threats, Sun Jian turned to another for assistance. It was none other than Yuan Shu, the one man who equaled Yuan Shao in fame and prestige. In exchange for Yuan Shu's protection, Sun Jian agreed to attack Yuan Shu's old nemesis, Liu Biao. Sun Jian took Sun Tzu with him, and together they set out for Liu Biao's territory of Xiangyang. Within his large, powerful hand, the imperial seal glistened in the sunlight as if welcoming the impending battle.